Welcome back to our teaching in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 as it is in this case. Last uh, recording we dealt with devotion, dedication, service and recognition and uh, God does appreciate and we do appreciate or should at least those who serve God um, tirelessly. This section verses 17 and 18 is the recognition of the fellowship of three brothers from Corinth. This is about spiritual refreshment essentially. Spiritual, let me read them to you, verses 17 and 18. I am glad of the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaicus, for that which was lacking in your part, they have supplied. For they have refreshed my spirit and yours, therefore acknowledge you them that are such. Isn't it wonderful when, when you are excited about meeting Christian? Maybe you're not. Maybe you find it's a really difficult thing and you're a bit bored or they're not that exciting. Well, Paul wasn't like that. Paul says, I'm glad, I rejoice. I, I'm, I'm delighted that they're coming. And he uses that word that we often hear preachers talk about, parousia, and uh, the, the idea of that they've left and they're journeying and they're going to arrive. And of course, it's, it's taught in the context of the coming of the Lord Jesus. He says, you know, I'm really excited these people are coming. Here are three people that have refreshed me. Listen, listen to what he says. I was glad for the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaicus. Why? He says, because they, th that which was lacking in your part, they have supplied. He's not criticising the Corinthian believers. I, I don't think he is. He's saying, you were not able, you were not in a position to meet my need. You couldn't meet my need and satisfy me at this point in time because of location and because of circumstances. But here are three men, Stephanus, Fortunatus and Achaicus, and they refreshed Paul in his spirit. It's great when you meet Christians that refresh you in your spirit. This is the same rest the Lord Jesus talked about in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, I will give you rest. There's refreshment through knowing God's people. There's refreshment through knowing God's word. There's refreshment through enjoying the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's the rest of Mark chapter 6 verse 31 where he says, Come you apart and rest a while. There's refreshment to be found in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he orchestrates rest for us. We need to take it. We need to, to think it. We, we need to, to, to spend time in his presence. We need to rest in Christ and enjoy. It's the ease that the rich farmer of Luke chapter 12 verse 31 desired. Take thine ease. Refreshment, rest. Of course, he was basing that on a false premise. He was building barns and pulling down and building up so that he could take ease. But rest is to be found in Christ. Hebrews 4 and tying that into the Old Testament. There's only rest to be found genuinely and in, in, in total satisfaction through Christ. You know, Paul speaks about this refreshment, this rest on a number of occasions. You know, writing to Philemon, he talks about his heart being refreshed in the Lord. I wonder if you're a type of person who refreshes your fellow believers. I wonder if you're the type of person who brings refreshment to God's people. They like to meet you because you lift their spirits and you refresh their soul and you, 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 they just are better for having met you. It's the same idea as 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. The inward man is renewed day by day. There's a refreshing that comes on a daily basis. You don't get it all in your account, so to speak, on day one, then you have to spread it out through the week. Day by day refreshment, day by day knowing his presence. The inward man is renewed day by day. It's Romans chapter 7 verse 22, after going through the struggles of Christian life and the ambitions to do right and the failures when you do wrong, he says, I delight in the law of God after the inward man. I delight in it. It's a wonderful thing. I wonder, my dear believer, as you listen to this today, have you been refreshed by some believers? Then tell them like Paul is doing here. Let them know that you're glad and you rejoice and you're delighted and that they've met your need. Have you refreshed other believers? Do it, my brother, my sister. Refresh other believers with your love of Christ, with sharing the things you've enjoyed, with sharing how God helped you in your problems. Refresh them. Paul says, I'm glad they're coming. They refresh my spirit. In fact, he says to these Corinthian believers, they refreshed your spirit as well. You also benefited from them. Therefore, he says, acknowledge such 
acknowledge you them that are such. We have wonderful people in this chapter. We in the previous section thought about people who were great helps and worked hard and were dedicated and addicted to the service of God. Here we've got people who are refreshers. They, they refresh people. Acknowledge them. Recognise them. Appreciate them. May God help us to do this. May we be refreshed and may we be those who refresh others in their walk with Christ.